In some circumstances, five-axis cycles can be difficult to apply. The aim of the five-axis operation inside EdgeCam is to quickly and easily create a basic five-axis toolpath. More advanced options are available as required. In this example, we'll explore some of these options. As you can see on this part, we're going to machine the bore. If we zoom in and look at the side view, we have sectioned through the part and you can see there's an undercut to this, to this bore. So we're going to apply a toolpath using the five axis finishing cycle. For this we need to define a start point which will be the centre of the bar and also the drive geometry which is the surface we like to machine all picked direct from the model. So inside the operation we define some basic parameters tilt angle, depth of cut and also define the tool we would like to use. So looking in the tool database we filter for a ball nose and pull in an 8mm ball mill. OK, so the toolpath's defined. As you can see, it only goes halfway through the ball. If we simulate, we'll see the reason for this is that the edge cam is seeing a collision between the holder and the top of the part. So the toolpath is stopped and the tool retracted out of the part safely. However, we do need to get through this bar, so we're going to open up the edge cam cycle, which has more options and more advanced options to control the tool. For the check options, we're going to set some clearance for the shank and the holder, and we're also going to tell edge cam to check both shank and holder against the surfaces we're going to machine. If there's a collision, we need to tilt away using a side tilt strategy in either direction. This is the only collision checking that we're going to do on this particular application. So if we, re we regenerate the cycle you'll see now we have a toolpath all the way through the part. We simulate you'll see the tool comes in as before but now that it gets close to this collision point the tool is tilted away from the surfaces allowing full access to the bore and allows the tool to go all the way through and finish the component. All done automatically with the edge cam. Let's take this through into our simulator. We'll skip the roughing operation. We'll move straight to the finishing. We will see the tool approach and the C-axis spin. The A-axis is being used to control the tilt of the tool and as the tool gets further down the bore the angle of the A-axis increases to allow full access to the tool and the holder. I hope this short video has been of interest to yourself. Thank you.